ending the decade on a good note. So, guys, it has been one year since I started up the Wooly Samus Coin channel. And we have gotten 22 subscribers, and I hope that, that can grow. From our first subscriber, the Burning Coin Collector, guys, go check out his channel. Um, link will be in the description below. And we are going to get right into the newest, per my last purchases of the decade. Now, a few of these were Christmas gifts. The others were, two of them, the two pennies, which I will save for last, were two I purchased with Christmas money. And got me down to only having one penny left in my penny book to go. And I spent about $260 on both of them. And they both have about the value of $700. So, I got, I'll tell you guys how I got very lucky, but first we're going to start off with the last Krugerrand to complete my set and get it up to date. We've got a 2018 Krugerrand, one ounce of fine silver, please focus. Okay, what is it with this camera? Why does it have to be poop? There we go. Oh, 2018, one ounce Krugerrand. It's got, I forget what his name is, I think it's like Arthur Rand. No, it's not. No, it's John Kruger. John Kruger, famous political figure, political figure in South Africa history. Um, now I'm waiting for the twenty my coin shop to get the twenty twenty in, so I'm really excited for that. Next, I got a few new Morgans for Christmas. My grandpa gave me these. Eighteen ninety one, not cleaned, great condition. This is a San Francisco Mint Mark. Probably I'd grade it MS6 AU condition, probably. There's a bit of circulation on this coin. Still very nice. Very nice coin. Next, we got an 1891 plane. This one would grade about an MS63. This is a exceptional Morgan. You guys can't really see the details because this is a crappy camera I'm using it on. Let's look and see if we can look, but no, really pretty coin. There we go, there's a nice look at it. Kind of almost has, no, I wouldn't give it proof. Like, But we're going to look at the two biggest buys of probably my whole coin collecting career. The two most valuable coins in my collection. And that is my 1914D Lincoln Cent. Let's get a light over here, guys, so we can see this coin in its entirety. Look at that coin, guys. 1914 Denver Mint. Full weed ears. Strong cheekbone. It doesn't get much better than that one looking for a 14D. I paid $140 for it. I had it valued by my coin dealer. At four hundred dollars, which is a great, I thought was great. He said he'd pay me three hundred for it, but I need this for my book. After this one and my next coin, I will only have the nineteen oh nine S V D B, and then my penny book will be filled. I'm not doing the twenty two plane for it. Just a great coin. And let me fix the light. A strong, Lord Almighty, I'm going to kill this. A nice, strong strike on it. Not cleaned at all. Great coin. Next, I picked this up yesterday. And let me get a better light, guys. Okay. Here we go. Next, we've got this. My 1909S one cent penny. This penny right here, look how pretty that is. It's the horizontal S, which is a variety error. It's a, my lord, I hate this camera. Okay guys, I'm probably gonna start recording on my phone, honestly. Um, 1909S, full, again, full weed ears. This isn't for my penny book. And so, yeah. I got this and the 14D both within one week of each other. I paid, this one I traded my MS67 dime for. 
um, and 70 bucks cash. This one I paid 144. So I'm about the value of all both of them, like pretty much what I paid for them, was about 260. Is pretty much the net worth I paid for them. Um, 260. But I could honestly, I took them. The guy said if he was to trade buy both of these off me, he said what he would resell them for is he would sell them for about 650 to 700 dollars if they were together. I could probably get about 500 for the pair. Which for paying 260, I could double. That's doubling my money, which is great but I am going to keep these this is now the most valuable coin in my collection this is the second most valuable coin in my collection um then come along a few of my peace dollars probably and we got my Morgans in here and we actually just got a new display case for my bet for my top coins um it's a Canadian mint display case this is the display case here we got spaces for all for these are where I keep my high my better Morgans. Fix the light. These are where I keep my better Morgans and silver coins. There's my 2019 Kruger and 17 is in the safe. Um, these are all Morgans. If it's Lord Almighty, if this would ever focus. Let's try to move this over here. Sorry guys for this. We got the 1978, 1886, 1889. That sh that actually is a proof flight. An 18, another 1891s. My two, my 1891 goes right here. Is the S? Yes, it is. That's right there. Something just fell. The 91 plane goes right there. The 14D is going right there until I put it into my book later. And then the Kruger Rand goes right here. And there we go, guys. This is this is part of the collection. Um, it's a very beautiful piece. We've got this coin right here, which we'll find its home in the safe soon. So it has been a great year with you guys. Um, again, shout out to all the people who were some of my first subscribers and first commenters on my video. Um, Robert Finds Treasure, Burning Coin Collector, Make Numismatics Great Again, Coins of America, thank you all for your support, um, your shout outs, thank you guys all for everything you guys have done this year, and making this a great year on the channel, um, I hope that next year, by the end of next year, we can maybe have about 100 or maybe even more than 100 subscribers, so please start spreading the word. These were all of our coin shops that I bought, co that I purchased coins from this year. Um, big shout out to all of them, all of them. Um, Sarasota Ga Coin Gallery, Kent Gully, um, in Sarasota, Florida. Collectors Palace, Streetsboro, Ohio. State College, Pennsylvania, Penn State Coin Shop. An executive coin company, my favorite coin company, the best coin company. Check out their website, guys. There's literally not, I don't think there's many coins that are not on that website. I can look on that website and I will find any coin, any coin. Like the 14D, they don't have, sadly, they don't have any of those on their website. But 1877 Indian Heads, they have them. 1893S Morgan Dollars, they have it all toned. Proof, uncirculated, good, worn. You can buy even call, which is just bags. You can buy bars of silver on their website. Guys, this is the best website. Go check out their website. If you have, if you call, you can call. They are some of the, they have the best customer service around. All these places do. All these places have excep exceptional customer service, guys. Um, yeah. This place... I've only been there once, but the one time I went there, I had some amazing, amazing customer service. Very kind people there. Sarasota Gallery. Again, great hospitality. Great place. Executive Coin Shop. My local coin shop. Great. 
great service. I go there and I buy about I buy a few coins from the month. I'll pro I'll be going back in January to get my 2020 Krugerrand for my set. Um, and State College Coin Shop, great deals. That's where I got my penny from. That's where I've gotten so many coins from. Guys, that is probably the best priced coins ever. The guy is a very kind guy, encourages young collectors. All these people encourage young collectors. So if you ever have the chance to go to these places, these people, they want you, these young collectors to keep collecting. So thanks to all of them for making this year a great year and let, so I can show you guys coins. Those are all the coin shops I bought from this year. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for letting me have a great year on the channel. Comment, subscribe, follow the people I mentioned. Their links will all be in the description. My first subscribers. God bless. Have a happy new year.